Heart disease is the number one killer in Canada, and 90% of Canadians have at least one risk factor for cardiovascular disease. Health specialist Leah Sarich now with a new tool that's helping doctors and patients reduce their risk for heart attack, stroke, and death. Right. This brand is a new good technology. idea. Brand new idea. So there are basically two things that are really going to kill us in Canada, basically. And it comes down to heart disease and cancer. And that's why we're seeing a big push in medicine right now to move these things forward with prevention. So it's about preventing these things. It's about getting ahead of them before they get us. So in that case, we're talking about heart disease. So for example, in Canada, as you mentioned, 90% of us have at least one risk factor for heart disease. But we're talking about a new tool. And it's basically a computer program that you sit down with your uh, family physician Position and you go over this, and it's basically called a cardiovascular risk assessment of each patient. We basically punch in all the factors that we, that we have available about you, including your cholesterol, your blood pressure, your family history, a few other things. Uh, we use the risk calculator to give you a score. Um, the risk can be low, moderate, or high. And depending on that, we look at your individual history, your unique profile, and um, see what we can modify and what we can improve. We hope that this is going to make people live longer and healthier. And that's the goal, really, like living longer and healthier, of course. So I had mine done, and as you can see here, it starts with your blood pressure. Mine is very low, which is good. I also brought in my most recent blood work for my cholesterol levels, and we discussed my family history, my lifestyle habits, we put in my age, put this all into the computer program. You know, and in the past, it was all about your cholesterol numbers. And while that's still important, the cholesterol is much more important in terms of the bigger picture, so the entire assessment. And once you get your score, so low, medium, or high, you'll walk away with this personalized healthy living prescription. So for some people, maybe they're smoking, so they'll recommend you quit smoking or eat more fruits and vegetables, exercise more, but it'll be specific to your lifestyle, how you live, what you like to eat, that kind of thing. And whether or not you would actually benefit from a medication as well, and usually medications when we're talking about heart disease have to do with statins. For individuals who have a moderate to high risk, statin medications can reduce your risk by 25 to 35%, which is um, a very large sum. It can save very many lives for, for the right people. But what we're saying is that you need to get your risk score done first, so we know if the statin will benefit you or not. If you have a low risk, statin is not going to help very much. If you're in the high risk category, well, it will certainly give you a very big benefit. A lot of people are afraid of taking these medications and actually they have very few uh, dangerous side effects. So this comes back to that idea that I talk about a lot on the show, which is the risk-benefit so ratio. So when it comes to statins, for example, for many people, if you're a good candidate for a statin, the benefits are so high and the risks are really so low. But of course, you have to get this information based on your cardiovascular risk assessment. But for those determined to benefit from the statin, that medication could decrease your risk of heart disease by 25 to 35 percent. So that's major. So of course, statins provide huge benefit in terms of reducing your risk for heart disease disease, stroke, and death. And of course, those side effects are pretty small. So how do you get your risk assessment done? Do you just ask your doctor, go into your family physician? Absolutely, right? So you want to go talk to your family doctor and you want to say, I would like my cardiovascular risk assessment done. Now, what's happening in Alberta, though, is that a lot of family doctors still aren't aware of this tool. So it exists online. Any doctor can get access it, but you might have to ask for it, and they may not know about it right away. In fact, Dr. Train was telling me that only 15% of the people who need this assessment done are getting it done in Alberta right now. So we really need to have patients advocating for themselves, talking to their family doctors and saying, look, you know, I really want this assessment done. I don't just want you to look at my cholesterol numbers and say, yeah, you should be on this drug. Right. But find out the whole picture, get the assessment done, and then move on from there. Being proactive about your exactly. health. Exactly. Advocating for yourself. You okay. Thanks very much, Leah.